of military personnel and the special ops who were killed in training or in combat. Right now, a hundred different individuals in colleges and universities across the country. A great foundation. That's on board of the 77 Dodge truck of Brendan Gaunt. Problems! That's the 02, I believe, of Kelly Sutton. Got a little bit of fire behind that truck. And let me just tell you, it has been very dry here in the Kansas area. It's going to be a little bit of time before they get that out because the grass is going to burn here in Kansas right now. Looks like Kelly may have made contact with the inside wall. Pretty big hit, it looks like. Waiting to see the window net come down. The safety crews immediately to her. Fire extinguishers putting the flames out. Again, we don't normally see fire when we have these accidents. The, the fuel cells have bladders. They're rubber. They hold in the fuel, so we don't normally see a fuel fire. Could that have been just the fact that it's so dry that it's catching on fire because of the heat coming out of the truck? Well, I, th I think by the virtue of the stream behind that truck, that he, they, she may have knocked off the fuel pump off the engine, and that, uh, that could have caused a little bit of fire. That wouldn't be near as much fuel as if we ruptured a fuel cell. But as you can see right there, the, the grass on fire. But that may have been what happened, is she may have damaged the fuel pump. And while the engine is still turning, that will continue to pump fuel. When that truck stops, then the engine obviously stops turning, and that will stop putting the fuel out. Ray Dunlap. Guys, let's talk a little bit about strategy here. I mean, everybody's going to have to come to pit road here to get tires. But right now, we're at lap 104. And as I told you earlier, everyone knows they can go right around 55 laps. And if you're getting great mileage, you could get to 60. But the problem is this lap, this race is 167 laps. So if you pit right now and we get ready to go back to green, man, fuel mileage could be awfully close if you try to do it. And this is just one more stop. So pit strategy obviously going to be a story here. One of the big stories when we started was Todd Bodine. Can he make it from the back to the front? Well, he's proven that he can. He's currently running in the third position. We will keep you updated on Kelly Sutton as the leaders come down pit road. The safety crew is continuing to work on the 0-2 of Kelly Sutton. Krista got her in the ambulance. They'll take her to the infield care center and do some further evaluation on her. And so as soon as they get the... The damage cleaned up on the back stretch. You see the big burn area back there. And that, like you had mentioned, Phil, I think probably the fuel pump got knocked off. And fuel had spread when she was coming off of that accident with the wall. And then it continued to spread once it hit this dry grass here in Kansas. It's amazing how quickly that, uh, that fire spread there. It looks like the firefighters have that under control right now. I think we need to talk about Terry Cook and his hallucinating about a root beer float in his truck right now. I'm sure he'd like to have a root beer float, but uh, there's a, there's Kelly's truck right there. Obviously, a lot of damage to the 02 Chevrolet, but the safety crew was right on top of things and got her out of that truck onto a stretcher and uh, into the ambulance. A lot of damage to the front of that truck, a very hard hit. Uh, the safety crews were right there, though, got her out of the truck. She's on her way to the infield care center. Uh, they will be checking her out, evaluating her, and, and if we can, we will make sure to update you on how Kelly Sutton is doing after that uh, as we are getting ready to go back racing. We are 59 laps away. Yeah, Ray, standing outside the infield care center, and Kelly Sutton is inside, and she is conscious. When you saw her come out of the truck, she was moving her arm a little bit, so she is conscious. Her mom and dad, we understand, are inside with her. We haven't heard from Kelly. We don't know her condition, but she is conscious, and her mom and dad are with her inside, so that is very good news. Those of you that did not see this accident that took place will show it again. A very hard hit on the inside wall. That's the truck going across the infield. And she's going to make some real hard contact with the inside wall. Very reminiscent of Jeff Fuller's crash uh, of a couple weeks ago at Kentucky Speedway where a lot of contact you see Kelly being loaded in the ambulance there you see her arm yep. move right there she put her arm over on top of her other hand there's her truck right there that's a lot of that damage is because NASCAR will actually cut the roof off these trucks to be able to extricate the driver a little bit easier so they don't maybe injure a driver even more so trying to get them out of the vehicle so uh, uh, we're certainly hoping Kelly Sutton is okay, and uh, again, a lot of contact with the inside wall, much like Jeff Fuller's accident. We, we uh, talked to Jeff Fuller the week after that, and he was doing very well. He broke his wrist, and uh, other than having his hand in a cast, he was doing quite well. So it, it's amazing the, the safety 
uh, things that NASCAR has built into these trucks with the seats and the headrests and the helmets and things like that. Uh, you know, we talk a lot about the safer barriers, and a lot of the racetracks don't have the safer barriers on the inside of the racetrack. Kentucky Speedway, where Jeff Fuller had his accident, actually has gone back since then in the last couple of weeks and put a section of safer barrier on the inside of the racetrack. And it uh, looked like Kelly Sutton made some, some contact with the inside wall, possibly right there you see. Right, right there you see where her truck made contact. I don't think that is an area where that has safer barriers, so that may be something that uh, will be looked at, I'm sure, in the days to come.